And Jack, someone who is uh, guaranteed a, a big future at Manchester United, featured on a, a couple of the papers, um, but that is the back of the, the star, as you can see there, uh, United, uh, paying tribute to Kobe Mainu, um, and potentially going to be bagging a, a new contract, but quite wisely wants to just try and make sure that his focus remains on the, on the Euros, on the football, rather than getting too het up about how much money he's going to be earning. Yeah, he's another one that, that when you see him play and when, when you hear him talk, seems incredibly composed for, for a player that, that not many people had heard of at the start of the season. He manages to grab games and control them when, he, when he's on the pitch for Manchester United. And I think the fact that, you know, there's so much uncertainty around Old Trafford, around Manchester United, the manager, but the one thing that in all the reports about Manchester United in the last weeks and months that has been made clear is that he is going nowhere. They see him and a couple of other players as the absolute future of that club. And I think to have that impact in such a short time, to break into this England squad in such a short time and look impressive when he's played for England as well. You know, even in small moments, he didn't get too long against Brazil at Wembley, but managed to show what he was capable of. And the fact that he's gone from there to starting or being in the conversation around whether he should start alongside Declan Rice at a major tournament is incredibly impressive. And I think the fact as well, the maturity that is shown in the fact that he wants to focus on that, wants to make his mark there, and that will only help him when he goes back to Manchester United as well.